The Open Bazaar 2.3 release contains a major new feature, the multi-wallet. Instead of being forced to use one cryptocurrency and stick with it, you're able to use multiple cryptocurrencies. At the time of the 2.3 release, you can use Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and Zcash. Ethereum will be added soon, and other coins are likely to follow. This video is meant to show you what the multi-wallet interface looks like and how to use it. It assumes that you already have OpenBazaar installed on your computer. If you don't, I recommend you watch the OpenBazaar 2.0 tutorial video, which I'll link below. Once you have OpenBazaar running, on the top right, click on the wallet. You'll notice there are multiple cryptocurrencies you can choose from. You simply click to navigate between them. On the top, it will show you your balance, if there's any unconfirmed amount in your balance, the value in a currency that you've selected, I have US dollars selected, but you can change that in settings, and how many transactions are in the wallet. In the middle, you have the send and receive section. This is the address that you would send coins to to load the OpenBazaar wallet. You can click to copy the address or scan the QR code. To send coins, you put in the address here, as well as the amount here, and you can choose to have it in the amount of the coin that you're using, for example, Litecoin here, or you can do it in a fiat currency amount, such as US dollars or whatever you like. You can also add a note here so that it's easier to remember what transactions were for in your transaction history. At the bottom, you have your transaction history. This shows you the basic information about previous transactions, including confirmations, how long ago they were, the amount, if you click here on details, it will open a block explorer in browser so you can see it on the blockchain. I've done several transactions here with Litecoin, but I'm going to switch over to Zcash to show you the process of loading your OpenBazaar wallet. If you have a mobile wallet, you can just scan this QR code, otherwise click on this link, and enter it into your wallet. I have a mobile wallet with some Zcash in it, so I'm going to scan this QR code and click send. You'll see a message pop up that you have a new transaction. If you click refresh, it will show you the transaction details. Even though the wallet has recognized that there are now funds within it, it doesn't show up in your value or your balance, and that's because it's unconfirmed. As soon as this receives a confirmation in the blockchain, it will then show up in the balance. So there we go, a couple minutes have passed, and now it shows up in wallet. So this is what the multi-wallet interface looks like. If you want to purchase other cryptocurrency listings in OpenBazaar, you can do so by clicking View Crypto Listings here. That's going to bring you to the Discover page where you are sorting by cryptocurrency type. As you can see, there's quite a few different listings here. I'm going to look to purchase some Litecoin I could uh, I could just search through here and f and find one, but I'd rather do that. Let's see. So this vendor right here is selling Litecoin for Bitcoin at three percent above market rate and has better reviews than the other merchants. So I'm going to try them. It's going to show you what their markup is, and then it's going to have a description of what their terms are as well as any reviews. It looks like this particular sale of Litecoin doesn't have any reviews, but if I go to this vendor's store, I can click here. That's going to show all their different ratings. Looks like a lot of satisfied customers, which is good. So if I go to their store, search again for Litecoin, I'm going to trade now. Now, if I'm going to purchase some Litecoin, I need to first put in the amount that I want to buy. This purchase is just for demonstration reasons, so I'm going to purchase a small amount. Let's say that much. And then you put in the address you want to receive the coins at. So for me, I'm going to go up to the wallet, Litecoin, receive, copy this address. I'm going to exit here paste the address in. 
This is the currency that you're paying with. Now this particular vendor only accepts Bitcoin. So I'm going to choose Bitcoin, but other vendors may accept different cryptocurrencies. I then choose the payment type. I can keep it at a direct payment, but that means there's no escrow and there's no guarantee that the vendor is going to send the funds along. So I want an escrow agent. I will pick them from this list here. I've used this moderator in the past and I can include additional information if I want to. Everything looks good, so I'm going to click pay. Sometimes when placing an order, the vendor is offline. If that's the case, then it's going to take longer to fulfill the order than otherwise. After you click pay, you'll be brought to the payment screen. From here, if you wish, you could scan this QR code with a mobile wallet, or copy this address to a wallet on your computer. But if you have loaded your OpenBazaar wallet with funds, then you're able to simply click pay from wallet. It's going to give you an estimation of the fee you'll have to pay, which is roughly a cent. And if you agree, you click yes pay. That immediately sends the funds to the vendor. If you wish, you can also post a message for the vendor here or let others know about your purchase. You can also sell cryptocurrency on OpenBazaar. To do that, you can click Create Listing. It's going to automatically bring you to the Create Listing section with a cryptocurrency type listing. Then you choose the type of currency that you're offering for trade. There are, I believe, well over 1,500 different types at the moment, and I believe we'll have over 2,000 in the near future. So let's say we want to sell some Monero. You then put the type of cryptocurrency you want to receive for payment, which right now is these four, but as I said, will be more in the future. We're gonna stick with Bitcoin. You put in the inventory, the amount of Monero you have to sell. Let's say I have two that I'm willing to sell. And then the price modifier. This is how much over or under the market rate that you want to sell at. So if you were being altruistic and you wish to put a discount, on your cryptocurrency you could you could do so uh, of course most people have a small markup so i'll do plus two the description is where you can tell customers more about what you're offering you can add a photo tags to be discovered in search return policies terms and conditions once you click save it will then be published to everyone else on the network so that's an overview of the new OpenBazaar multi-wallet. We've spent a lot of time working on it, and we hope that it works well for you. If you have any questions about OpenBazaar, go ahead and visit openbazaar.org slash slack to get your invitation. Thanks for listening.